Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be doing my birthday hair and makeup. My birthday was on Saturday, so I decided to film myself getting ready. So I hope you guys like it and let's go ahead and get started. So for foundation, I did use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. You guys know that's my favorite and it made me look a little bit white just because the lighting was acting up. But the foundation still looks good on me and it was just the lighting. But anyways, for concealer, I'll be using the KKW Concealer in the shade number 8. And I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes and I'm also going to be applying some lip oil on my lips that way they could be moisturized I did use a bunch of my favorite makeup products I didn't want to use anything new in this video just because you know I don't know how it's gonna come out or if I'm gonna like it and I was going to take flash pictures on my birthday so of course I didn't want flashback I didn't want anything to come out looking bad you know so that's why i went ahead and just you know got my favorite products and i just did my makeup but anyways for powder i'm going to be using my cover fx translucent powder this one doesn't give me flashback and i really really love it To bronze my face, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite bronzer, which is the Hoola by Benefit. And I also really like the Physician's Formula, but I really need to go get myself a new one. So this is going to do for now. Once I finish bronzing my face and also contouring my nose, I'm going in with more translucent powder and I'm just going to be cleaning everything up. So for blush, I'm going in with Luminoso by Milani. And the brush I'll be using is a L309 by Stelossi. So to highlight, I'll be using my Sleek Makeup Cleopatra's Kiss Highlighting Palette. And I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones and the tip of my nose like always. You guys already know. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of this diamond glow powder called Conceited Bitch. I was glowing. So for today's makeup look, I'll be using the Modern Renaissance palette. You guys requested me to do more tutorials using this palette, so here I am. And the first color I'll be using is called Burnt Orange, and I'm just going to be placing this on the crease. The brush I'm using is by Lap2 Beauty. I'm not sure what it's called, but it'll be listed down below. I'm also going to be applying a tiny bit of this color called Love Letter on the crease. And yeah, I need to go get myself a new palette. I've been saying this forever and I just keep lagging, but I really do need a new one. But the brush I'll be using to apply this color is the Morphe M433. And I'm just going to be doing windshield wiper motions and making sure both colors are well blended. My eyelids were kind of dry this day. I don't know why, but they felt like really harsh and just dry. So I don't know if it's the concealer or the foundation. But my eyelids were just really dry and the colors were just kind of like, I don't know, they were kind of off but it still came out beautiful and i'm really happy about that but i don't know i'm gonna have to see what's causing me to have dry eyelids So for the eyelid color, I'm going in with this eyeshadow. It's like a glitter eyeshadow and it's by Stila and it's called Rose Gold Retro. And I'm going to be applying this all over my entire eyelid. I actually didn't have any more of this glitter. Like I was having a really hard time trying to like take some out of the little tube or whatever. But I was just really hoping I had enough for both eyes and I did. I actually did have enough but I actually topped it off with some glitter by Urban Decay which is the one I'm applying right now. And I just feel like it made everything look better and more, it was just more sparkly you know. I'm 
The lashes I'll be using today are by Coco Lashes and they're called Amour. So for lips, I'm going to be using my lip liner by Kat Von D and it's called Bow and Arrow and for the lipstick, I'm going to be using my Kylie Cosmetics lipstick and it's called Dolce K. I went back to curl my hair because those weren't even curls anymore so I just started curling my hair. I feel like I'm pretty fast when it comes to curling my hair. I take about 10 minutes, sometimes like 15, it depends, but yeah, I usually don't take a long time. I'm going to be spraying some hairspray on my hair just because I want the curls to last and I don't want any hairs on my face. So after I finish doing that, this whole look is complete. I hope you guys loved it and if you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Once upon a time, I was all alone.